Well, look who's back with us, the Vice President of America First Legal. He's Gene Hamilton. Gene, it's good to see you again. Okay, this story. Former President Trump faced off against Special Counsel Jack Smith in the D.C. Appeals Court today over Trump's motion to lift that limited gag order in the federal election 2020 case. Trump's lawyers say this violates Trump's First Amendment rights. Special Counsel Jack Smith demands a gag stay. They don't want Trump attacking him, the Special Counsel Smith, the prosecutors, the judge, or the witnesses. What do you think of all of this? Liz, thanks for having me on. The gag order is absurd, it's overbroad, and it's ridiculous. We were proud to file an amicus brief in support of Donald Trump's First Amendment rights in that case, precisely because it is a ridiculous order. It is a ridiculous violation of the president's First Amendment rights, both as a political candidate and as a defendant. And so the result of what we have right now, if you just take a step back and you think about it, is that you have the Department of Justice not only weaponized and targeting political opponents, but also seeking to silence them and to stop them from speaking out against the very people who are weaponizing the instruments of government against them. So you have the New York Appeals Court judge lifting the gag order that Judge Engeron imposed on Trump and his lawyers in the New York civil fraud case. Let me back up. Let's go back to the pandemic shutdowns, right? People were reeling over what these uh, officials were doing to the U.S. economy and Americans shutting them down. At the same time, behind the scenes, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Adam Schiff were saying Senator Rob, uh, Rob Johnson and Senator Chuck Grassley's uh, report into uh, Hunter Biden was Russian disinformation. They had bank records showing what Hunter Biden was doing profiting overseas. You also had, from the time that President Trump, within months from when he took office in 2017, they wanted to impeach him. They wanted to get rid of Trump. They wanted to go after him with impeachment, not having any crime whatsoever in front of them. So Trump has been railroaded from day one. That's what a lot of critics and analysts have said, that the Mueller report found he did not collude with Russia to go after Hillary's or the DNC's emails. That was false. So the Trump voters saying, wait a second, when we see what's going on, when we see the truth of what's been happening to Trump, whether you hate him, whether you like him, they don't want to see the government manipulated to benefit any political parties. That's the Trump story. And now you have a Colorado judge Judge saying, yeah, you're going to keep Trump on the ballot. They're saying no to this new push to kick Trump off. We have judges in Michigan and Minnesota saying, no, you can't kick Trump off of state ballots. So this is another push behind the scenes to get Trump off state ballots. Absolutely. Liz, this is the type of stuff that if conservatives did it, would lead to the attorneys involved getting disbarred and sanctioned by courts. And yet the left has lawyers who are willing to go for it and bring frivolous arguments. Look, Trump was acquitted in the Senate of the charges that are that are that he's accused of in this Colorado case, or of what Jack Smith is going after him in the District of Columbia. The fact of the matter is that Trump voters and the regular American people, they see targeting and they recognize it because we've been here before. You are exactly right. Since day one, they've been out to get him. Since day one, they've thrown everything but the kitchen sink at them, at him. And that is what they're trying to do right now, is they're essentially throwing the kitchen sink but you know what's so, to do anything that they can you know what's to keep so dangerous? You know what's so dangerous? You know the polls show, American, the American people, they want to have faith in American institutions, right? But what the Democrats have done is undercut the credibility of America's institutions. That's bad. Now you see this. The Georgia Fulton County DA Fannie Willis said the Georgia 2020 case may last beyond the 2024 election. Let's watch CNN analyst uh, Eli Honig on this. Watch. I think it's a completely unrealistic request by the DA's office here. If we do the simple math here, if we start a trial in August, the DA's office itself has said they believe it will take four months to try this case. The judge actually said he believes it will take double that. But let's just use four months. That means we'll be on trial August, September, October, and through November during the election. And keep in mind, because this is a criminal trial, Donald Trump has to be physically present. He has to be physically present, Jane. Your response. Look, they knew about the timing issues when they indicted him. This is all part of their plan. They wanted this to interfere with the election. And this is all consistent with the Department of Justice plan, Fannie Willis's plan, and the plans up in New York. 
they all want him gone. They want him off the ballot. Again, you know, we're not going one way or the other for or against Trump. We're just doing 30,000 foot perspective on what's been happening and how the American uh, people have been misled and manipulated by the Democrat Party, who has been abusing the full faith and trust of American institutions to go after an opponent. Gene Hamilton, thank you so much for joining us. It's good to see you.